Well, good morning. My name is Rachel Green, and I'm the administrative assistant for the communication department. In the few moments I have this morning, I want to share with you how God has kept his promise to be my counselor and to equip me for my future. Let me begin by reading the words from my favorite psalm setting, Psalm 16D. Preserve me, O God, for I'm trusting in you. Yes, you are my master, I said to the Lord. Besides you, I do not possess any good. In your holy messengers, I take delight. Those running to idols will multiply griefs. I will not pour out their drink offerings of blood, nor will I confess their vain names with my lips. The Lord's my inherited portion and cup. You care for my lot where the lines fell to me, my pleasant and lovely inherited land. The Lord who gives counsel to me, I will bless, for surely my mind teaches me through the night. The Lord ever present before me I keep, he stands at my right hand, I shall not be moved. My glory rejoices, my heart is made glad, and also my flesh will live safely at ease. For you will not abandon my soul to the grave, your godly one you will preserve from decay. Life's path you will show me, full joy is with you. Your right hand holds pleasures for me evermore. In 2015, I came to Geneva and learned Psalm 16D right here in chapel. I love the tune and psalm, and over the next couple of years went on to memorize and sing it many times with new song, as well as in church and chapel. At the time, I was touched by David's honest cry to God to preserve him and the beautiful way he describes God and his faithfulness. While I don't discount the encouragement I got from this psalm in those years, I also don't think I really knew what it was like to cry out with my whole being for God to preserve me, nor could I have guessed how important it would be for me to have these words stored in my heart. In the last five years, I have had to learn how to walk faithfully through trials greater than I had ever previously experienced. I have cried out to God to preserve me when I was the loneliest I've ever been. I've cried out many nights laying awake in too much pain to sleep and with no answers or solutions. I've cried out over the pain of sin and death and its effect on my family. I've cried out asking for renewed joy in my circumstances. I've cried out when things didn't go the way I'd hoped or planned. I've cried out when life was overwhelming and hectic. I've cried out for wisdom, for the strength to endure, for peace and comfort, contentment and purpose. Preserve me, O oh God, for I'm trusting in you. You see, God in his abundant wisdom and love for me planted his word in my heart so that when I cried out in despair to him, his words would come to my mind. What I found was that by singing through this psalm in my hardest moments, I was able to turn with David from crying out to God to declaring who God is for me. Then, after reminding myself of who God is and what he's promised me, I ended the psalm with confidence in the hope that God is with me and he will preserve me and full joy is with him. The way God equipped me with Psalm 16 didn't change my difficult circumstances. I still had to walk through trials and I will face more in my life. But I do know that God has proven his faithfulness to be with me and to provide the encouragement and eternal perspective I need to live faithfully. My hope for you is that you will take advantage of opportunities to learn and know God's word, and that you will trust God to keep his promise to equip you for your future. <laughs>